Hi everybody, welcome back to Enjoying Retirement. Today we are in Kenai Fjords National Park outside of Seward, Alaska. This is a beautiful place, one of the least visited national parks in the country, and I'm sure that's only due to how remote it is. It's about a 30 minute drive from Seward. It's got a nice nature center and well laid out signs. There are several trails here that you can take. First, we're going to take a walk out to Glacier View, marked A, and then we're going to go up to the Glacier Overlook, marked B. Upper north of that, in the Glacier Field itself, we're going to try to go to uh, the Marmot Meadow, located at C. The trails are very well marked in every intersection, seems to have a nice signboard, so just pay, pay attention to that. The lower one, the Glacier View, is accessible to everybody, a very nice trail, and everybody can get a good view of the water and eventually the glacier. There's the glacier in the back right there. So keep in mind that's where it is. It, uh, it's been receding, obviously, uh, like everything else, but it is still there and very enjoyable. One thing to note is the exit glacier area outside of Seward is the only place you can access the national park by car and i believe it hosts the only trails that it has there it has a few sign boards that'll help explain everything uh, going on uh, about the glacier how it was formed uh, what's happening to it this little building here talks about how it is receding and the effect it has on the glacier as well as the wildlife uh, who were um, pretty much bred for this type of environment and now the environment is changing on them. So it's just an interesting thing to see. All right, but now we're going to head on up to the Glacier uh, Overlook area. Um, it's not a bad hike. Uh, there will be some elevation gain. Please note we, we saw someone trying to uh, push a stroller up here. And while you can do that for a while, eventually you reach a point where you just can't do a stroller. But it is a very enjoyable walk, and in June it was quite nice. Don't forget to look down. See all those striations in uh, the rock right there? That is where the glacier uh, moved, and the rocks underneath it carved those trenches and troughs in the underlying bedrock. And you can see that in quite a few places as you're walking up here. I highly recommend that you do go to the Glacier Overlook. For us, it was the best view of the glacier. We'll talk about Marmot Meadows in a, in a few minutes, but here we are walking up to the Overlook. Beautiful country, as I said. More signs, and there's the glacier in the back right. And yes, the glacier really is blue like that. Some close-up shots of the glacier itself. Um, like I said, we, we attempted to get to uh, the meadows above to get a different view, but we didn't quite get there, and you'll see why in a moment. But take advantage of the uh, Glacier Overlook location, uh, bring binoculars or a telephoto lens and get a really good view of it. I also want to mention at this point, stick around at the end of the video um, because I'm going to be showing you how I used my Canon M50 Mark II in 1080p and upscaled it to publish it in this 4K video I'm posting on YouTube. So take a look at some things, see if you can tell which film, which was filmed in my Osmo Action 3 natively in 4K, and which of the close-ups were filmed in the Mark 50. And at the end, I'm going to give you a direct comparison and the two products that I used um, to do the upscaling. Uh, I'm, I'm quite amazed by one of them, but more on that later. Now we are on the path to the glacier field itself, trying to get to Marmot Meadows and enjoying the view. First part of the hike uh, is not too bad. You'll stay on the south side of the ridge and uh, everything looks pretty good. But please note, there, this is a pretty good elevation gain here, as you can see as we get higher above the glacier, glacial field itself. 
This park was formed in 1980, became a national monument in 78, national park in 80, uh, comprises about 600,000 acres. A large portion of it is covered with glaciers and permanent snow. But not this area. This area is just beautiful in early June. Just thought I'd have some fun here, slowing that river down, getting the ultra slow-mo look at the very end. Enjoy the hike. Don't wait till the destination to enjoy the hike. The views are spectacular. But eventually you're going to turn away from the south facing slope and turn into the more northern facing. And all of a sudden it goes from this to snow. It's not so bad at the beginning. Again, this, this was uh, early June. A little mushy, manageable, no problem. And it just created an extra sense of beauty and adventure for the hike. But the snow kept getting a little thicker, a little deeper, still mostly mushy. It wasn't icy, so that wasn't too bad. If you're used to hiking on uh, snow, uh, it, it wasn't bad at all. If you're not used to hiking on snow, then it, it could be an adventure and you really need to know your limits. The higher you go, the more snow you get. And I got to say, this was about the high point of our trip. Uh, I don't know how far we actually uh, were away from Marmot Meadows. I don't think it was too far. But the next section of the, of the trail was very steep. And there was a fair number of people who had attempted to go up and were turning around and weren't doing so well. So we decided just to enjoy the view here, not press it, and head on back. Never to fear, heading on back, uh, you get some of the views that you uh, might have missed on the way up. So go ahead and enjoy them. But I'm not going to show them to you. Uh, you. You got to see most of them uh, as I filmed up. But I do want you to stick around. And if you're at all interested, take a look at how I upscaled 1080p footage in my Canon Mark II, uh, Canon M50 Mark II, to get us into a 4k video here we are that moose i'm letting him finish his walk across the uh, bottom of the glacial field now i am really impressed with topaz labs video ai i use that to upscale some footage i took up in denali of this doll sheep and take a look for yourself here is the footage upscaled to 4k in topaz video ai I'm going to show it to you as upscaled in Premiere Pro and as natively shot. I'm just very impressed. That was a 50% increase over the 4K. Here it is, just using the upscaling available in Premiere Pro. And you can judge for yourself based upon the sharpness and resolution. But for me, uh, I, I think that Topaz... Uh, Video AI is a game changer. I think that just turned my 1080p camera into a perfectly usable 4K video camera. Uh, it has 4K on its own, but not quite with the autofocus I wanted. So, just amazing. Anyway, hope you got something out of that. Hope you enjoyed the tour of the glacier and maybe a look at uh, some of the technical work behind it. All right, as always, I am enjoying retirement. Thanks for watching.